Well, hello, and welcome back to our verse by verse through John chapter 3. So before we read, uh, let's pray. Lord, we shall see in the verse this morning how that without your Holy Spirit we cannot understand the truths that you want to teach us. So we pray for the insight and wisdom of your Holy Spirit this morning, and we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, this morning we're looking at verse 4, uh, but I'm going to read from verse 1 through to verse 4 of John chapter 3. Now there was a Pharisee, a man named Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the signs you are doing if God were not with him. Jesus replied, Very truly I say, I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. And verse 4, How can someone be born when they are old? Nicodemus asked. Surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother's womb to be born. Well, I wonder if you've ever been in a situation where you've completely and somewhat embarrassingly misunderstood uh, what someone has said to you. Uh, a moment such as that that is etched uh, in my memory as it were as if it were yesterday, uh, though it probably happened almost six decades ago, uh, is being out shopping in Derby uh, with my parents and older brother. Uh, I can picture the scene. All four of us had just uh, arrived outside the local branch of a well-known pharmacy that, remi- that uh, rhymes with shoots. And there standing on the three or four steps leading up into the store uh, was one of our near neighbours. Now, I do agree, she did look as if perhaps she was waiting or looking for someone. Well, my mother spoke first. Hello, Mrs Smith, how are you? And Mrs Smith replied, well, it's difficult for me. You see, I've lost my husband. Now, I think from that comment, what we were meant to presume was that Mr. Smith had recently died. But that's not what my father thought she meant. Because he, without missing a beat, uh, chirped up, Oh, well, I wouldn't worry too much. I'm sure he'll turn up again very soon. Well, something quite similar has just happened in Jesus' conversation with Nicodemus. Jesus has just told the Jewish leader that no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. Now, just as the word lost, as in I've lost my husband, can have two quite different meanings, so does the word that John uses here in verse 3. It can indeed mean born again, but it can also mean born from above. But Nicodemus takes it to mean born again, literally. Hence his bafflement and hence his two-part question in verse 4. How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born again? Well, if you think about this carefully, you'll see that Nicodemus' reply in itself shows the very truth that Jesus is trying to teach him. That without this new birth, you cannot see the kingdom of God. You cannot comprehend the truths of life under God's kingly rule. You cannot even recognise God when he's speaking to you. It's just as the Apostle Paul writes to in his letter to the Corinthians, The man without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, and he cannot understand them because they are spiritually discerned. 1 Corinthians 2.14 So we're not meant to think that Nicodemus is, as we would put it, a bit thick. He's rightly and understandably totally baffled. But this is still a bit embarrassing. Because in verse 2, Nicodemus' opening words to Jesus were, We know. And what we discover by verse 4 is that Nicodemus doesn't know. And if you are a true Christian believer, you may be able to cast your mind back 
to that time when the Bible was pretty incomprehensible to you from cover to cover. I know it was to me. Now, I'm not suggesting that as believers we don't come across parts of the Bible which we still find somewhat of a puzzle. But once you become a Christian, you increasingly understand the great truths it contains through the teaching of God's Holy Spirit. Dora Greenwell puts it beautifully in a verse of her best-loved hymn when she writes, referring to Jesus, that he should leave his place on high and come for sinful man to die. You count it strange? So once did I, before I knew my Saviour. What happens next in this quite extraordinary conversation? Well, tomorrow we'll find out how Jesus tries to correct Nicodemus's and maybe our misunderstandings. Let's pray. Lord, we do pray that as we continue to study this wonderful conversation, that we might see those things that you are trying to teach Nicodemus and that you want us to see and to learn. So we pray that we might come each day with humble hearts and listening ears. In Jesus' name. Amen.